In this clip, a large video display should be seen. In the final film, instead of this green color here, a video should appear. Chroma keying offers a simple option for making specific colors in a video clip become transparent. That, in turn, makes it possible to see the clip lying on the track below. Let's put a second video there now. After we have opened the effects palette, we pull the chroma key into the mixer area. Edius automatically recognizes which color should be keyed. Naturally, we can still adjust the effect more and better. To do that, we open the information palette. Now, open the chroma keying dialog. The four buttons at the upper left are used to determine the range chosen in the color circle as well as to do the differentiation of the adjacent areas. This is the eyedropper, an elliptical range, a sector of a circle, and a rectangle. Depending on the case at hand, the task can be solved using one of the four menus. The settings of the different buttons do not influence each other. You can experiment as much as you want. Each geometric shape has an outer range that can be used to set a soft transition from transparent to non-transparent colors. Let's go back to the eyedropper. Sometimes green keyings can develop a slightly red tinge. As a rule, this can be corrected via range and power. The timeline can be played even with the dialog still open. Actually, in Edius, this is possible with all open effect dialogues. The film should start here. We trim the loop and pull the film into the timeline. A suitable audio completes the soundtrack. When played back, the area around the HD logo should change from black to white while the logo itself retains its color. To do that, we use the chrominance filter. Regrettably, its characteristics cannot be changed using keyframes. For this situation, Canopus has developed the blend filter. We'll use it to start with. You can fade between two filters using keyframes. For our project, however, one filter is enough, the chrominance filter. In order to create a color change sequence, the keyframes must be activated. The higher the white line, the more the characteristics of the chrominance filter can be seen. We set a curve with a relatively steep rise. To make sure that the filter works to full effect, we pull the timeline cursor into this area while we adjust the filter. Now it's the chrominance filter's turn. Under Setup, you can adjust the characteristics. The filter allows the selection of a color, the interior. For the surrounding area, we use the Mono filter, which creates the black-white. Now let's select the color. Let's click someplace yellow and pull a little. Here, under Color Luminance, the regulator lets us achieve an even more exact color distinction. In order to make the differentiation even sharper, we select Mono in the Edge filter as well. The option Show Key shows whether or not the correct area has been selected. White means selected, black means not selected. Before we close the filter, please be absolutely sure to deactivate the checkbox. Finished. Confirm and play. And now we can see our very professional effect sequence.